আসসালামু আলাইকুম প্রিয় দর্শক শ্রোতা আমরা আবার ফিরে এসেছি মহিলা অঙ্গন অনুষ্ঠানে আজকে আমরা কথা বলছি এসআরই নিয়ে এসআরই যে টপিকটা এই এই যে সাবজেক্ট এই সাবজেক্টটা আমাদের বাচ্চাদেরকে টিচ করা হবে কম্পালসরি ভাবে প্রত্যেক স্কুলে फ्रॉम সেপ্টেম্বর 2020 এটা আজকে আমাদের প্রসঙ্গ অবশ্যই আপনারা টেলিফোন করে আমাদের এই প্রসঙ্গে অংশ গ্রহণ করতে পারেন যে এই সাবজেক্টটা কিভাবে আসলো কেন আসলো আর আপনারা প্যারেন্টস হিসেবে কি করতে পারেন আপনাদের যদি দ্বিমত থাকে এই ব্যাপারে যদি আপনাদের ইচ্ছা না থাকে আপনাদের বাচ্চা के एई सबजेक्टे अपन बाच्चा जे जानक पार्टिसिपेट करूक ती तो करते अपनारा कि अलरेडी तो लेट हो गए जेहेतु कन्सालटेशन पिरियड ओभर हो गए हमार मन सप्ताह दय कन्सालटेशन शेष हो तब आगामी क्यों करते ना करते नहीं आज के स्टूडियो कथा बी दो जन गेस्ट आजजे साथलरेडी अपन की परिचय कर दीची तपर सेकेंड गेस्ट जिन्हें उनर सकते परिचय कर दीब उन्नी हम मिस्टर শাহনুর আহমেদ খান আসসালামু আলাইকুম ভাইয়া ওয়ালাইকুম আসসালাম কেমন আছেন ভালো আছি আপনার সম্বন্ধে একটু বলেন জাস্ট এস আই এম জাস্ট ইন ভেরি অ্যাকটিভলি ইনভলভড ইন দা লোকাল কমিউনিটি এন্ড অ্যান্ড আই ওয়াজ এ টিচার এন্ড দা লেকচার ইন ইন কান্ট্রি অরিজিন এন্ড এগেইন আই হ্যাভ এ আই ওয়াজ এ টিচার ইন টা হামলস কলেজ দা পার্ট টাইম লেকচার এন্ড এন্ড ম্যাথস এন্ড দেন আই ডিড সাম টিচিং জব স্টিল আই এম ইন দা টিচিং জব এজ এ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ টিচার ফর নিয়ারলি ইউ নো নাম্বার অফ ইয়ার্স এন্ড আই এম বিট অফ কনসার্ন এন্ড ইউ নো আই এম আই এম ট্রাই টু support my community and, and uh, you know running many campaigns such as educational and mainly I'm focused on education. So, bhalo kotha onek experience ni apni eshechen to etokhon amra je kotha bollam je amar ei bhai er sathe SRE diye je keno SRE what is SRE uni onek ta bhalo explanation diyechen. So apni ektu bolen je amader bangladeshi community ei byapare koto tuku obogoto. Basically amader bangladeshi community bolen ba aro BME community bolen এরা কিন্তু অনেকটা ব্যাপারে সচেতন না এবং সচেতন হলেও কিন্তু ওরা জেনেশনে সচেতন না আপনাকে আমি এক্সাম্পল দিতে পারি হয় দেখেন যেমন অনেক সময় দেখে শুয়ে থাকে একটু ওই যে আপনার নিদ্রা পাওয়া আছে কিন্তু আসলে পুরা নিদ্রায় নয় আসলে ওরা কিন্তু ওয়েল ইনফর্ম নয় যখন আমরা টু থাউজেন্ড প্রথম ক্যাম্পেইন স্টার্ট করি এবং সেই ক্যাম্পেইনটা ছিল আমাদের ক্যাম্পেইন এগেনস্ট ইন অ্যাপ্রোপ্রিয়েট এসার ইন স্কুলস এটা আমরা আমি সেটা কনফার্ম ছিলাম এবং আমরা অনেকই সাথে জড়িত ছিলেন আমরা আমার মনে হয় নেয়ালি মোর দেন টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ থার্টি থাউজেন্ড সিঙ্গেস একা শুরু এবং আমরা হাউস অফ কমার্সে আমি নিজেও উইটা জিমিনেসে গিয়েছিলাম তখন যেটা সিদ্ধান্ত হয়েছিল যে এসআইটা অপশনাল থাকবে আর শুধুমাত্র সায়েন্স বিট যেটা থাকবে সেটা থেকে সরানো যাবে না সেই সায়েন্স বিটেও কী পড়ানো হবে সে ব্যাপারে একটু লাইটলি ছিল বাট লাস্ট ফিউ যে কনসার্ন হচ্ছে আমরা কিন্তু অনলাইনে পার্টিসিপেট করেছি অনেক আমি বলেছি এবং আমি মনে করি আমাদের কমিউনিটির এবং আমরা যারা আমরা আমাদের ফেইলিয়ার আমরা কিন্তু করতে পারিনি প্রপারলি আমাদের মা বাবাকে জাগিয়ে তুলতে পারিনি এরপরে কিন্তু গভর্নমেন্টটাকে চাচ্ছে যে এটাকে পুরো দমে কম্পালসারি করে দেবে এবং সেই সময় আমরা অনেক সাথে কথা বলেছি এবং অনেক সংগঠন বিশেষ করে ক্যাথলিক সংগঠনগুলি এবং আরও অন্যান্য ধর্মীয় সংগঠনগুলি এ ব্যাপারে প্রতিবাদ করতেছে এবং আলোচনায় অংশগ্রহণ করেছে বাট আবার আদার সাইড অন্যান্য সংগ্রহ যেগুলো আছে স্টোনওয়েল বা অনেকগুলি বলা কিন্তু ওইটার পক্ষে তাদের সেই ইকুয়ালিটি অ্যাক্টের মাধ্যমে কথা বলতেছে সেক্ষেত্রে কিন্তু আমরাও বলছি আমাদেরও সেখানে রাইট আছে সেখানে কিন্তু এডুকেশন অ্যাক্ট নাইনটিন নাইনটি সিক্সে আমাদের উড্রের উড্র করার অধিকার রয়ে গেছে এখন সেই আইন আমার মনে হয় সংশোধন হয়নি অ্যাট দ্য সেম টাইম সোশ্যাল ওয়ার্ক যে অ্যামেন্ডমেন্ট তারা আছে ওটার মাধ্যমে একটু তারা শেপিং করেছে ওদেরকে শেখাতে হবে কেন শেখাবে শিখে লাভটা কী হবে সেগুলো তাদের দৃষ্টিকোণে অবশ্যই ঠিক আছে আমরা কিন্তু সেই শিক্ষার কখনো অপোজিশন অপোজ করতেছি না যে সেটা করা প্রয়োজন নয় বা সেটা আমরা মানি না এটা আমরা বলতেছি না আমরা বলতে সেই শিক্ষা দেওয়া হবে কখন দেওয়া হবে কোথায় দেওয়া হবে কীভাবে দেওয়া হবে কী রিসোর্স ইউজ করা হবে এবং কাকে দেওয়া হবে এবং সেটা তার মা বাবার সাথে কথা বলে দেওয়া হচ্ছে কি না তার পিতা মাতার সাথে সে নিয়ে আমাদের কনসার্ন এবং এই জন্য দেখা গেছে যে কী হয়েছে এখন আপনার রিসেন্টলি আপনি দেখেন এক্সাম্পল আপনাকে পুট করতে পারি এই যে বার্মিহামে যে আপনার পার্ক সাইড কমিউনিটি স্কুলে যেটা ঘটেছে আমার মনে নেয়ারলি সিক্স হান্ড্রেড বাচ্চাদেরকে মা বাবারা সরিয়ে নিয়ে আসছে কেন তারা ওই সেকশনটা পড়াবে না কিন্তু এটা যদি কম্পালসারি হয় তাহলে তো সব স্কুলে এই যে আমার ভাই যেটা বললেন যে এটা কম্পালসারি হয়ে যাবে টু থাউজেন্ড হয়ে যাবে হ্যাঁ তখন কম্পালসারি যখন হবে তখন তো বাচ্চাদেরকে সরে এক স্কুল থেকে সরে আরেক স্কুলে নিয়ে যাবে ওখানেও তো সেই সাবজেক্ট কম্পালসারি হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ হবে কিন্তু এখানে আমি যেটা আপনাকে বলছি আমার মনে হয় আমি আমি প্রেটিস যে গভর্নমেন্টটা থিঙ্ক করবে যেটা আমি আপনাকে এই লাইনটা পড়ে নিই আমার মনে সব বুঝবেন 
Section 4 of 5 of the Education Act 1996 enables parents to draw their children from sex education other than the sex education that is in the national curriculum such as the biological aspect of human growth and reproduction that are essential elements of national curriculum science. So, the first thing is the name of SRI, the first thing is the name of RSI. So, the first name is the changing of the name of the human being, the sense of the human being, the feeling of the human being. The first thing is the relationship. Of course, the relationship. What sort of relationship we are looking for? As we are believers, and those all are, you know, regards all the faith, they are always thinking a good relationship, which is stable, loving, caring relationship, sort of institution marriage systems, that is, you know, proper marriage, ma you know, boys and girls, you know, men and women. But do, do you respect other relationships and the other, you know, is sort of marriage? We respect them. But I think this is our right. We are the parents. We got some right to exercise our right. And we should have our right to withdraw it if we don't wish to teach such a you know, relationship. Of course, the government obviously feels there is a need. Sharkar to emnite decide kore nahi je a subject amra bacha theke shikabo. Ha? There must be a reason. Jeta amar bhai ato kun bujaya bollen jeta. There must be a reason. To jehe to Sharkar eita onik researcher amar mone hoy. Jeta shadarun to hoye thake onik researcher follow onik karun achhe. Koti ke a eita to definitely it's an investment in the community. To a investment Sharkar korte jachche kena. Hamader ei deshe thakhen apni. Ei je आगे हम रखो था बोले थी ये जो चाइल्ड सेक्सुअल एक्सप्लोइटेशन ये कथा बोल लाम आम्रा ये जो ऑनिक धरने ये जो सेक्सुअल एब्यूज होए बच्चा देर ये तो नहीं कथा बोल ची तार पर अपने टीनेज प्रेगनेंसी ये गुलो ऑनिक धरने जिन्हें शाचे आम्रा ये ये देशे अखुन ये जो गोतो दश बच्चों धरे हम रा देख priest bolen our apnar people of religious institution bolen our school bolen our famous people bolen tara shobai kintu bachchader ke abuse koreche chotto chotto bachchader ke abuse koreche historically we knew about some places we knew about educational institutions such as boarding schools jekhane ei sob hoy kintu ekhon to dekha jay bibhinno khetre ei gulo hocche to ei gulo je chotto bachchara jodi na jane how to protect themselves ba kon ta safe ar kon ta unsafe ei bachchara protibad korbe kibhabe what I was going to say was that, we, uh, and, and the brother will probably understand uh, this, the PSAT subject, we already have What PSAT, is PHAC? Uh, physical, social, uh, health and... Uh, that's right. So this, this is a program that's an established program in schools. So through this, you teach children about various aspects. But that is at an older age, isn't it? That is in secondary school. It's in secondary school, but you yes. have... But sexual abuse and CAC, now we know, happens to children very young. You yourself said it happens at a very young age. So if, it, if some things like this are happening to six-year-olds, yeah. if a six-year-old child is being inappropriately touched and exploited and exposed, then how is that child benefiting from te le teaching okay. that is going to be applied to them so, so, at the age of 14? So, so uh, in primary school, there isn't sex education to be taught. It's relationships okay. education. So you would ask the question, how does relationships education actually deal with issues to do with sex? And, and, and sexual okay. exploitation? How is relationship going to be taught? What is it, What are the components? Well, it, it's to do <coughs> with the government says healthy relationships, yes. but it so would could appear... could healthy relationship, relationship not right. be healthy touch? Well, it could be, but yes. what I, I come back to the point again. Mm -hmm. Schools, it's, it's, a, it's a huge responsibility that's placed up on the schools. The teacher has a huge job now on his or her hands to deal with this subject with 30 kids in the classroom. And that's not the way it should be. It should be the responsibility of the parents. The teacher doesn't know the children as well as the parents do. The parents can teach in accordance with their religious values and principles, according to, as we said, the okay. Human Rights Act. So what so, would you say to those parents, the 40% in terms of the research that you've given me, the 40% of parents who are actually willing for their children to be taught sex education at school, what would you say to those parents? Well, it's, it's up to the parents. If they want the school to teach, that's fine. But by the government making this subject compulsory, they're actually going against the Human Rights Act. Because and their own legislation. Yes. yes. So, so, that, that, so that doesn't work. I mean, just because certain parents might want the schools to teach, that's fine. The school can find provisions to do that. 
but majority of the parents mm -hmm. do not want the school to teach this this subject. The parents want to be able to do that themselves. Okay, so, so I'm, can I'm I not. At, mm. um, can, I, can I come at this point? In the fact, you know, as I mentioned, we are not uh, objecting the educations. We believe that it's too much too soon. Absolutely, they're very young children. They don't have any pure maturity yet to understand that sort of feeling understanding. Yes, there is something happening in the world. You know, it's um, many, you know, it's um, unexpected incident happened. But the bottom line is that I think, uh, what is my understanding? I think probably, I don't know how the government, I'm not blaming the government and, and uh, whoever. I think the people, those are thinking, desperate to implement that, probably they got something pre-idea. There is something stigmatizing the behind the scene. Probably they are thinking that, for example, you know, X and Y, there's something wrong. That's how you're going to put these things, you know, in the floor, then everybody will be getting. For example, you see, in, in there, you know, it's a new guidance. They say the faith is school, private school, and the, what do you call it? The free school. Academy, free school oh, academy. Yeah. They're not obliged to teach such a They are not obliged to follow that curriculum. Why? Well, fine. Do you respect that? Because uh, they say they are, according to the 10 tenants, they have to teach. So if the government is desperate to them, they have to make some sort of common you know, platform and have to, you know, acceptable sort of materials and resources and the guidance line to implement and then the people will follow that. But in the fact, why they are okay, telling us so sort of Okay, let, so let me, let me ask um, Aziz Rai, what do you think is the agenda behind this? Because Officer uh, Shandur Bai is uh, alluring to the fact that there is an agenda, hidden agenda. What is the hidden well, agenda? Well, some people would present this particular perspective that there is this global uh, agenda to teach co something called sec uh, comprehensive sexuality education. And, and this particular set of programs is pushing uh, basically to teach children about sexuality based on children's right to seek pleasure through learning about sex. And this is an agenda that has been pushed globally to ensure that children from all parts of the world buy into and get educated about this program by 2030. Now, I'm not saying that this is what's driving the, the legislation here, but some people will start to make links. And I reason, find it really difficult no, to follow no, this. No, Can you okay. make it a little let, bit let more me, simplified me, for my viewers? Because I think that's really... Okay. So what I'm saying... I'm not, yeah. a bit... Okay, so I'm not saying that this is what it is, but I'm saying some people will find evidence and there is evidence out there to make link between the global uh, uh, agenda of teaching comprehensive sexuality education and... What is the global agenda? Um, to teach children about sex and sexuality because children have the right to know and be able to achieve pleasure through... At the age of four? Uh, children, okay? Even including young children to learn about sexuality and relationships. And this is actually pushed by many of the UN agency, including the World Health Organization. And, and what you'll find is that what the UN suggests and recommends to be taught in Europe, there are elements of that you'll find in our relationships and sex education. And therefore, there seems to be a link. Now, whenever we talk about this, we always say to, to the people that we're discussing this, you do your research and start to look into it and see if there's a link. So some people will present that as there is this link, but of, of, of course, Ofsted will tell you there isn't. They will tell you that there, the need to do this is based on our children needing to be protected. But, okay. but, so there may well be a link there, but I'm not saying that there is. Shannon, right? Thank what you. Do can, you can, I, can I add one point? You know, it's basically, what is my understanding, you know, as, as far as uh, we thought, it will be kind of, Social engineering, probably. Social engineering towards what? Because pr 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 probably they are, they are thinking there's somewhere something is wrong within the community, within the society. That's why they try to rectify that person. What is wrong with the society? I believe what the brother says in terms of you know they they thought the as you mentioned about the the children are you know getting early in you know, our pregnancy and you know their STI and their you know 
different problem. You know, it's and and you know, it's a social, economical thing. It's not going out and not going to affect it, everything. So I think that's why probably I don't know. It's this my could be wrong idea. So probably that is that some people are thinking if we're going to rectify this, if we can, if you can, you know, give some medicine and rectify that person, then the society will be fine. This but is I don't not think rectification, that, though. This is this is reconstruction. But, but, uh, but, but, but there's a point. But, I, yeah, I don't yeah, want to interrupt yeah. the brother, but there's a valid point the brother has made. Um, if the reason to make these subjects compulsory is to reduce the high rate of teenage pregnancy and, and the increasing rate of sexually transmitted disease, there is no evidence that suggests that more sex education helps towards reducing um, uh, high teenage pregnancies. So you now ask yourself the question, what's the agenda? It's not. I am constantly the, asking what is the, the agenda. The, the, I'm that, 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 that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Because some yes. people will say that by yeah. giving better quality sex education, it will help drive yes. down teenage pregnancy. And I think this don't is forget, what the government is saying. No, no, wait. I, I've read so, 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 so what I'm saying government. to you, there is no yes. evidence. But, but, but there is no evidence to suggest that sex education and more sex education does that. So you ask the, ask, ask the question, what is the agenda behind it? Mm. Brother, you know, they, for example, they started that is, I think, is 2000 and onward. And then now they would like to make it, you know, it's a reconstruction and they try to make it more rigorous to make it implement, then they would be safe to be effective. Since then they started, has we got, on, has they got any sort of evidence than the SRE doing the SRE education on the pregnancy and all sort of things? You know, have greatly reduced? Not no, yet. it hasn't. And even though, you know, if you look at the globally, I don't think they can provide any evidence that such country started and that is down. For example, you know, go back to this country, you know, uh, uh, you know, 50, 60 years back, uh, ago. What has happened? Did they teach that time? No. Why that is happening? Probably other factors influence the people to make involved sort of, you know, uh, sort of bad activities. What are those other factors? Uh, because, for example, you know, maybe the social factor, maybe the economical factor, maybe the, you know, they are, um, you know, is um, that intelligent development. It's many, many could be, maybe the, you know, the other things are happening in the family. Previously, it was joint family, family value. Now they are, you know, disregard the family value. Okay, so, you're, so we you're, should respect you're if we go. Actually, you're, you're kind of moving towards or in, you're insinuating perhaps towards parenting of course, pa are, you, are you insinuating that parenting is perhaps because, because a bit I think more parenting, these parenting days? is a parenting we, we have to be very careful here there are these sensible intelligent parents and we should never go down the route of blaming parents and if the government is saying that parents are incapable of doing the job that they should be doing, and therefore we're bringing this compulsory. This is completely out of order. According because to the government documents, the government isn't saying parents are incapable. The government. Well, they can use whatever say, the words. The government. But by making it compulsory. This. Well, no, by making it compulsory, you're taking the parents out of of, of the loop, as I mentioned here. The government. He's sorry, taking the, the responsibility to teach their but, but children. the parents are crying out and saying that we want to be able to teach this subject according to our religious principles and values. By you making it compulsory, mm. you are going to be teaching this, and we're not sure that this is going to be taught in accordance with that. And don't forget, this is not a single religion issue, and the brother will probably be able to touch on this. This is a community-wide issue. And it's this a affects, societal issue. It's a societal, and, and it actually affects people from the Jewish community, it affects mm -hmm. the people from it's the Christian religion. community, Christian. as well as the Muslim community, as well as people who do not have re uh, uh, certain religions. There are if people from all- were doing such a good job in the first place, then we wouldn't have STT, we wouldn't have sexually no, that, that is, that is, that is another thing. young people, we wouldn't have teenage pregnancies, we wouldn't have sexual exploitation well, well, of so, so small that, children. That, that's a, that's a, I, I would say the reason why all this is happening is because we are living in a society that's hypersexualized. So it is the cause of the society that has resulted in this. So I don't think we should be blaming... Hence the government I, I, I don't think we should be blaming society. The, well, why is there so much um, sexual obscenity out there why is there so much push for, for this for, is what for, society for, wants but parents certainly don't want that parents don't want it but parents clearly so, are so, not so doing society it. is going is in a direction whereby it is causing destruction for itself and now you can't okay, say not, now you can't say the parents the are not doing the job to protect their this, children well could it not be exactly that the government is actually taking charge here you the parents you have not been able to protect your children and there are predators out there and you have allowed your children 
um, to become prey to these predators. And here we are. We have a society, a dysfunctional society now. We have young children as young as four and six who are subject to child sexual exploitation. They're going, they're, big, they're having sexually transmitted diseases. They're being pregnant at the age of nine and ten. Girls are becoming pregnant. So you as parents, you have not managed to do parenting well. So therefore, we are going to take away your responsibility or this is a very, add to that, this, your this is, I don't think this is what the government is saying. And if it is, it's, it's a very draconian measure. It is draconian. It is absolutely draconian. Because what, what can be more draconian than taking away the parental right to object But this to goes against their own legislation. It, it it's, it's the Human against. Rights Act. So it, does ha so, so it doesn't, doesn't work. It does go against it because you start right at the beginning. You read four, you quoted four different the aspects of, yeah. the, of the legislation. And each one of them, this is contradictory. The, the, the current proposal is contradictory to that in itself. I'm going to go to a very short yeah. break and I'll come back uh, for, for more discussion mm -hmm. on this. Thank you very much.